This is going to be the most insane f***ing car we have ever seen. Full stop, and likely ever will on this channel. Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Built by Blake. Today we are, this is years in the making for Dean because we are picking up the motor for the GTR. This has been <laughs> so long uh, just due to the fact that this, this motor has, it's everything that you can do for a GTR motor before you go billet block. It has everything thrown at it, it has all of them, it's just, it's just the best fucking thing ever. We're in the big American truck. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, <laughs> and then um, we're just off to Dayton uh, at the moment, which is the, the guy that built the, the motor. So let's do it. You ready for your big dance, mate? I am. Ooh. Hey mate, you gonna go get your RV28? I am. It's only taken 15 years. Ooh. So we've just rocked up to Daytona, as you can hear, there's a f***ing like thousand horsepower GDR getting loaded on the truck. I don't want to be that guy walking in with a camera around a car that actually, around a shop that actually has stupidly respectable cars. So. Uh, I'll see if I can get some footage, but uh, if not, you'll just have to take my word for it. So, holy f I'm so excited. <laughs> We were just on our way home and we actually said, um, we have three engines in the garage and three engine stands, so we now need another one. So we're just going to stop in at Super Cheap, uh, which is our local Super Cheap here, and we're going to grab one more. Um, hashtag sponsor us. Come in, you get an engine stand. It's a funny looking engine stand. <laughs> We are back to the shed, it is unloaded, and once again, actually this is a totally new motor, but 
This GDR is paired with its now soulmate, which is the, it's the holy grail. It's the unicorn. We've literally dubbed this the unicorn RB block. And I know there's a lot out there and there's a, well firstly, everyone will just go, well, what about billet blocks? Billet blocks have their problems and if you don't know about them, then look into billet blocks. They are great for making massive amounts of power, but they are also a pain in the ass to maintain. This is everything you can do to an RB motor before going to a billet block and making a six second pass. This has everything that Dean and I know of, mostly Dean, I absolutely know nothing about RB motors. Uh, obviously, once he cracked the block in the old one, he was on the hunt for this block here, which is an N1 block rough cast. Now I say rough cast, and you might think that this guy has no idea what he's talking about. I genuinely don't. Dean has passed all of this information on and said, there's two different types of the RB block. Rough cast is the older style and they are extremely hard to get. Dean found this one and picked it up as an unopened engine. It was completely stock. Everything has been done by and handled by Dean from a stock block. Before starting on this block, you guys might know uh, PRP. P, they make bloody everything for almost anything high power. Uh, Herman actually does the thickness tests of the walls on the RB, on the RB block. So he's done heaps of that for the Motive guys. This block here was the thickest block that he has ever tested. This thing is the holy grail. So Dean said, give me everything you got. Here's my credit card. I want to make this thing bulletproof. So here we are. To give all of you engine heads and RB nuts a quick rundown and please don't hound me if I get this wrong because as mentioned, I'm just reading off a list, have no idea about RBs. It is an N1 RB26 rough cast block. As it says on the side here, it says 24U, which I am told is something special. Don't take my word for it. Just passing it off. It's been tested by Herman from PRP. It was told it was the thickest block that he's ever tested. The head is port and polished by Warspeed Industries to match the larger Tome inlet and exhaust gaskets. It's got Camtech 280 degree 11.8 mil lift cams, Tome 1 mil oversized valves, Shimless head conversion, a Nitto head to sump drain, high octane racing cam cover baffles, a PRP block to head oil restrictors. On the bottom end, we have a spool 2.8 litre stroker kit, CP pistons, Supertech oil pump spline drive conversion kit for the Tomei oil pump, PRP integrated main cap steel brace, half inch main studs, ARP 625 half inch head studs, Full firing head gasket conversion, copper head rings around each individual cylinder, full copper head gaskets, race pace winged baffled 9 litre sump, all genuine replace Nissan seals, gates racing, timing belt, a dual adjustable cam gear, PRP Pro trigger kit, Supertech R35 coil conversion with the Spitfire R35 coils, it's got a CPC carbon intake manifold, a Bosch drive wire, wire throttle body conversion, a six boost X exhaust manifold, and a precision 7675 turbo. If you haven't seen the turbo, please go back and watch that video. This is going to be the most insane fucking car we have ever seen. Full stop, and likely ever will on this channel. And I cannot exaggerate that enough. We are not f***ing around with Subaru Liberties anymore. This is a GTR, and this is the most insane motor ever. For God's sake, if this isn't something you want to see how this gets put in, you don't want to see the aftermath of putting this in, paired with a bloody sequential gearbox, delete your YouTube account. Plan of attack is lower it in, sit it down, and then plumb everything around that. There is a whole lot of stuff that comes, uh, that will show problems when, when you're dealing with stuff this big. Mainly the turbo. Put this in, put the turbo in, make everything else work around that. So, that's it, that's all I got. Give it a like if you liked this. If you didn't like this, unsubscribe. We don't want you. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.
Is this really happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> Wrenching on the RB with the Nissan and the Nismo in the background. Ooh. Um, I'm part of the new Nissan ad. Oh yeah. yeah. How to how to build a car in three years. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you one thing, Mark. Hmm. So much better than Subaru. I mean, like yeah. the bolts turn better than Subaru. Yeah. <laughs> the bolts turn better. Like you just tighten the screws down, and just the the threads are better. Must be like the pitch or something. <laughs> They're just like a, they're a steeper pitch, so they're heaps faster. Yeah. Like the whole car's faster, you know what I mean? Even turning down the bolts are faster because the thread pitch is steeper. <laughs> You're such a fuck. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, very annoying. And that's the bit where it seals the deal. All these bolts need replacing. Okay. It needs to be like drilled out. Anyway. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's hitting on. That needs to be rotated. Yeah. 